Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to be traveling to Mexico. We're going to be specifically looking at Mexican folk art, but I also wanted to share with you uh, two of my favorite artists that came from Mexico, Diego Rivera and his wife, Frida Kahlo. We're not going to be basing our project off of their artwork, but I wanted to just have a artist connection for you. When we take a look at folk art or Mexican folk art, you are taking a look at some examples of, <clears throat> excuse me, of different medium. So what the artists actually use, whether it's painting or pottery or metals or textiles. If you are unfamiliar with textiles, textiles are like the fabric that I'm wearing right here. Um, folk art is really unique because it had it connects to different types of cultures, but also Folk art specifically stands for artists that were not trained in art school. So they were self-taught. No formal art training was given to them, uh, and but yet they were really, really into their artwork. They just were never formally trained. If you take a look at the folk art on this slide, you can see the skull, Los Muertos, the Day of the Dead is a theme that comes up quite often in Mexico. We can also see the metal mirror around here, a relic, it's not a mirror, it's um, metal embellishment with um, different types of engraving and tooling work. We're also seeing Mexican folk art pottery and mirrors. So one thing that I can see right away from just this screen is all of the beautiful bright colors and bold lines. That's very unique to the folk Mexican artwork. When we take a look at these subjects right here, this is going to be giving us our inspiration. These are Mexican folk art mirrors. We're going to be creating a mirror using the folk art style of the uh, very bright and vibrant colors, patterns, and symmetry. I know you guys understand symmetry in math. When we are looking at symmetry in art, you could not have any art without math or vice versa. I want us to specifically notice how this type of symmetry on the previous mirrors, there are different types of symmetry. We're going to be talking about radial symmetry, but there's also bilateral or mirror symmetry. So what that means, if I took a mirror and put it right smack dab in here, it would reflect and show the exact same on the other side. Bilateral means two. These are examples in nature, a butterfly, in art, a uh, geometric pattern, another in nature, even animals and humans, if we were to divide our face in half, you would notice that we are symmetrical from right to left. Definitely not top to bottom because I don't have two heads, thank goodness, or I'd look very strange. Radial symmetry is what we're going to use with our Mexican folk art mirrors. So you can, Always remember um, radial symmetry easily by thinking of a sun. A circle is a sun. The rays that come off of the sun come from the center out. So the design is the same all the way around. It starts from the center and it radiates out. So it's a central point where all of the exact same design goes around. When you guys are looking at the next slide, this is kind of a breakdown um, about how we're gonna do our project. You're gonna use whatever paper that you have. If you have thicker paper, it actually works a little better for the background of your mirror. I want us to be thinking about radial symmetry. So start with a circle shape. If you're opposed to the circle, maybe you want to do a different um, design for the border of your mirror. That's okay as long as you have radial symmetry. You want your design to be the same starting from the center point and radiating out. 
So you're gonna need poster board, pencil, or paper, either one is fine. After you cut out your shape, you're gonna use your what? Yes, that's right, I heard you all the way from my house, your pencil. Then you're gonna go over in black, okay? After you do that, you can make sure that mom or dad helps you to get some aluminum foil and cut that in a circle, or maybe you'll get more information from my next video. You might wanna tuck the uh, extra edges around the back. So your Mexican mirror will look really bright, vibrant folk art style with all of the beautiful colors that surround the mirror part. I can't wait to see your embellished designs and I know you're gonna be awesome. I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.